20 feet long and uh, and you put the bales on the back of the truck and three wide and three wide so six bales then you have a space here and and uh, you, you stand up here and you uh, uh, so this this first bale right here right you can see how okay. they'd be sitting here yeah. well the other bales you, you hit the button and these three chains move independently of those three chains okay so you move this bale over and, and even run it over the edge, yeah, three or four inches, and then you stop and then you then you run your chains back and your bale stays there, and it puts a gap between the bale you're going to want to feed and the other bales. But you're feeding one at a time. One at a time, and you and then you cut your strings and you pull your strings whatever you want and then and then there you are and you can you can go along and feed the hay on the ground, or it works really slick. It, uh, uh, early in the spring we start we take all our cattle out of our meadows to get our meadows oh, going and, uh -huh. and feed in the, uh, in the feed bunks. And so you can drive, the driver is the easiest for him to drive down the driver's side yeah. of the feed bunks. Okay. And when you have a flatbed, oh, okay. see, you can feed. Liz is bringing it to you. Is bringing it to you. Yeah. The last bale is going to end up clear over here. Yeah. That's so, cool. And, well, and same on the back. And that's why that that's why we built that little deal in the back was just to hold it so your bale don't fall right off the yeah. truck. Well, oh, and then if you want to yell at the driver or throw something at him or tell him anything, he's right. You're right. right yeah. You climb up. You're not climbing onto the back of the truck. Yeah. Right. Back there, you can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous. I mean, this is like a this is like a, a safety program huh. truck or something S serious. Uh, we got a guy recovering from a broken leg right now that fell off the back of a feed truck. Huh. Uh, uh, a uh, little bit long. We extended the frame on this truck like, like two and a half feet. Uh, the wheelbase made moved the rear axle back. Had to make another drive line. Had to weld some some cross members in the frame. And uh, uh, but it's uh, it's pretty darn good. You do all of it here. Yep, all built it built it completely here. We got a kid. A local kid that worked for us for a while, and now he's a. But then he went to welding school. He worked for Sierra Pacific as a millwright. He quit, and moved back to Likely, and um, he. Uh, and now he's a, he welds for whoever. He's he's his own. He's a freelance or whatever you want to call it. So so I hired him to build this bed for me, and and bought all the materials for it, and we engineered it together, and and uh, but uh, uh, it. It really works good. Had you, you can, seen one like it before, or you just thought of it? Just we just came up with it right here, believe it or not, <laughs> and and it works. And this is the prototype. This is the original. And uh, we and we used uh, and Jesse's handy, a machinist sorta. He's a, he's a guy. He's 27 years old or something. But but this this um, shaft is uh, got these plastic bearings. Hmm. Plastic. Uh, Ultra high weight, ultra ultra high molecular weight plastic grease impregnated. Wow! No one has to grease them. Really? But it, but it moves relatively slow and uh, doesn't make very many revolutions. I mean, yeah. You know, you feed three loads of hay. That's eighteen bales of hay. It's a pretty good morning. You know. Yeah. When the ground is good. Right. If you got real muddy ground, well then you have to. Yeah. You know, you have to adjust things. That's so, slick. So we think we're going to build another one.